Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space College Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are back in the Rocket Full of Brains, a collection of asteroids out in the wilds of space where we actually have an, an astronaut coming back at the moment, piloting its rocket to Pyaxlin. This, this uh, brave, brave soul was actually trying to fix a problem that we did last time. Last time I'd managed to strand some duplicates on this other... I've really wanted to watch this rocket land. We Hang on, let's, let's, let's speed that up. Here we go. Uh, but we managed to strand a duplicate over on Irigal. Unfortunately, the uh, duplicate that I had selected to go over and inhabit this base, uh, our boy Hubble, who's currently having a bit of a bad time, you can tell by the anger, uh, unfortunately can't dig. Uh, not Sorry, can't build. He cannot build materials anywhere. I actually want to turn these up. Uh, Hubble has been uh, having a very, very stressed time. And one of the things that stresses him out quite a lot is the fact that he walks into water. So we're, we're going to try and cover that up. And another, with Spitzer, his good good friend and buddy over here, we're going to try and make this place uh, a, a, a nicer, nicer place to, to welcome some more duplicates. I want to get at least four duplicates on here, but our first our first target is, of course, to try and get some food. We're basically playing the beginning game all over again with this place, but we have some, some, some things that can help us out. We've been firing interplanetary payloads over from one of our rocks, Pyaxon. Let's go over from the star map. We are currently... Uh, trying to colonize Irigal over here. Our most developed place is Pyaxlin. This, th this, uh route here is quite busy. We've been sending rockets back and forth. We've also been sending interplanetary uh, bullets full of stuff. Turns out we are missing rad bolts at the moment. That's fine because uh, that, that's a, a radiation based currency, shall we say, that we need to uh, need to collect to get the uh, the interplanetary launcher going. And we've only got 44 out of the 50 rad bolts needed. Thankfully, this generates them from the very sky that comes from above. I presume the sunlight, though, if we have a look on the star map, there's no sun anywhere, so I don't know what's going on with that. As I was saying, anyway, Irigal, we need to try and get this place up and running. And the majority of the things that are going to be done for that is, of course, trying to get water. We've got a saltwater geyser right here. I believe this one is a cool slush you know what i'm gonna turn up the priority to an alarm here cool slush geyser that's salt geyser okay that that's also a little bit awkward we could put a desalinator in line with both of these and get ourselves some nice cool water we're gonna have to do that anyway because there is salt water everywhere but down here it, it's around somewhere here we go down here we also have this other geyser and this geyser is just a, a, a straight water geyser it will release water at 95 degrees which is very hot but it is water that we do not have have to process in any way uh, so we, we, we really need to start breaking our way over there now we have a, se a selection of oxalite down the bottom here creating all the oxygen that we can need but the moment that we walk through this uh, this water lock here uh, the gases are escaping uh, to the atmosphere let's put let's press gas yeah indeed you can see that the big old vacuum here the only reason this hydrogen hasn't disappeared is because it got caught up here and somehow that's saving the oxygen oh look there's there's a blob of salt water right there stopping any liquids coming out this way so we need to try and set up I, I think what I'm gonna do in fact is uh, come along to this I would like a manual airlock we're gonna set a manual airlock there and maybe we can drain this liquid lock and start filling this area up with some uh, sweet salt sweet tasty oxygen for everybody trying to get the food up and running hey, wait a minute I've made hydroponic farms I mean that's not the worst in the world but I would very much prefer it if we used regular farm tiles for now the reason being that we um, quite desperately quite des can I re can I just replace that farm tile no, it turns out I can't. I need, I need to rip, rip it down. Uh, we can only use bottled water at the moment. We, we, we don't have a selection of pumps on the go. That is something that I, I want to change by the end of today. But until... Ooh, I mean, the, end, the cycle's already finished. But until, until we can actually... The end of this episode is probably what I should say. Uh, until we can get that pump down, though, we're going we're gonna to have to uh, just survive by scavenging. Hmm... You know what, I don't want that mini pod there. We, we will go ahead and put a mini pod somewhere important, but actually I want to come into the rocket tree. I want this payload opener. I don't know whether it takes power. It does, but that's... Ooh, 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 didn't, didn't mean to come out there. But power is not a problem. We've got a little system set up here. I think I'm just going to go up and across and through like this, and that, that should make us a uh, fully workable payload opener. Uh, then we can go in there and we can get some, some various things like steel and plastic and glass. Uh, I'm particularly looking forward to the glass because we'll be able to put some 
solar panels up and get off this little manual generator and actually just get some some passive power set up uh, ripping down these trailblazer modules should also grant me 400 kilograms of steel that's nice i think i want to make a rocket silo here so where this door is i think i might want to rip all this down and then use the background wall to uh to, to capture all the steam that comes off a rocket and uh, somehow try and condense all that down before it all escapes out to the vacuum of space. Yeah, I, I could put a door over the top, but I think that's actually going to be more more problems than it's worth. But that, that is very much a future problem. Today's problem is making our way over to all the geysers and trying trying desperately. I think I think the first one we're actually going to try and tame if the game wants to uh, work for me here. Um, man, Hubble, you're, you're, you're at 99% stress already. You're still sopping wet. That doesn't help. Uh, I think this is the one we're going to try and tame first. It's coming out pretty hot, 95 degrees. Let's uh, let's have a look at the temperature overlay. But we should be able to use the water from here, um, desalinate it, and then put it into a steam and thermal aqua tuna combo perhaps we'll even set that up over here and have our chill air i don't know i feel like i want to set it up in the middle of the area uh, we also need to try and get the poke shells being ranched that's that's the actual purpose of us being here is to ranch the poke shells but we need to make a nice little life support system <laughs> Hubble, why did you even go in there? A nice little life support system for our duplicates. Oh, well, Hubble, Hubble's angry. Do you reckon we can actually move him down here and see if that does it? No, no, unfortunately not. Well, we're, we're going to have to replace this battery. Thankfully, it's only made of aluminium ore, which is all the way around spit. So you're about to dig yourself into a very awkward situation. If you could do it from the side here, that would be much better. Thank you. We're just going to just going to ignore that little temp temper tantrum that's uh, that's going on out there hopefully is hubble able to repair stuff he can't build but i don't know whether repairing counts as build it yeah yeah go on you, you take take it out on the abyssalite i feel like that's a much better way of doing it thank you thank you hubble thank you uh, what are we growing? Of course, we're growing millwood. Uh, we're, we're, like I say, we're starting the entire tech tree all over again with a very, very angry Hubble. Oh no! Are you spinning the power by lashing out at it? I mean, Hubble, let's try and move you back down here. You, you seem to be doing a lot better. Hopefully, Spitzer can come along and fix those things when he fixes this uh, this farm tile. Sorry, builds this farm tile is probably the better better wording there. Uh, he shouldn't be able to jump all the way down here. Maybe they can still pick up the aluminium, though. At some point, the oxalite's going to disappear, and then this dirt is going to give out, and it's just going to plow its way through and destroy everything. But hopefully, we'll be set up by then. Okay, Hub Hubble's finished his tantrum, and now he's just helping to dig out. All right, that that's that's fine. We'll we'll accept this. We will accept this. If we keep an eye on Hubble and don't let him run out of oxygen, it looks like we can keep the uh, the stress going down the moment he runs out of oxygen though which i'm not understanding why because he's in a beautiful environment so it should just be going down i, I don't know i don't know we'll, we'll see what's go where are you going now oh building the door yeah actually very important good good work does make him ridiculously stressed though because he's sopping wet but hopefully we can deal with that after building this door in place if we actually make this uh, a higher priority where are you going where are you going why do you keep insisting on dunking yourself in as much liquid as possible i don't even know where you, what you're actually going for oh you're going for the millwood seed all right i i guess that's kind of important Okay, Spitzer and Hubble have been out having a terrible time trying to make their way around this way. Uh, I'm just going to dig this little hole out under here. We'll make we'll make a proper floor and hopefully... Let's go for all um, priorities and let's get this at a high priority. Hopefully Hubble's going to dig through pretty early. I don't know what he was trying to do. He, he keeps trying to get something down here, but he must be too far away or something. Yeah, I, I don't actually know at the moment. Maybe we can uh, mop this place up as well. Start tidying the area up, getting all the carbon dioxide that lives in this little section to come down and get uh, processed by our oxy ferns. That would be very nice. Maybe we could even dig a, another section through here now that we have this um isolated from the rest of the area in fact i'm going to build ladders across here and we're going to dig 
these four out. No, I need that one. Can't think of that. Wait, no I don't. We can carry on with the ladders. <laughs> the only reason I stopped is because Hubble needed to carry on, uh, ca carry on digging, right? I feel like I might want this platform and by extension this platform over here to stay in place uh, so that things that get dropped don't just disappear to the bottom of the map. Or that we'll have little, little areas like this that will catch everything. Maybe we'll even replace these ladders here with a fireman's pole. Is it, is it fire pole? Yeah, fire pole. Uh, we'll, we'll just drag that up and down. But Hubble going through doing the job that needs doing. Yeah, this didn't actually clear out the place like I hoped it would. Maybe if we build some... Do I do I really want to spend time doing this? Because, of course, my builder's... Uh, my, my builder, Spitzer... His time is very important. What is he doing? <laughs> Spitzer has destroyed the steel... Ah, that's because... That's because I've come down here. I've put some pipes and some power down. But what I actually want to do is prepare to have a steel liquid pump. We're going to destroy that hexalent as soon as all of this... this way gets done you know what we'll, we'll take the priorities down on those this insulated tile wall here needs to carry on down we need to break the hexalent and we need to what what is back there some water weed is back there okay we discovered that last time <laughs> and then we can just kind of make our way through oh look this is gonna be over this side okay that, I, I can live with that i can live with that but it's all super low priority compared to getting these tiles in place so let's see how those gases are doing. There's a lot of hydrogen out there, but now that these are this wall is being ripped down, hopefully everything can just flow. I'm expecting to see the majority of this carbon dioxide come down this way. I really want to replace these tiles so no one has to walk across the surface anymore. Do we want to make these mesh tiles? I think we do. Let's this, uh, this mesh tile, aluminium, drag that across. Yeah, much, much nicer. We're probably actually going to end up all the way across. Dare we give Spitzer some building improvement? Let's do it. Let's do it. I think I think he could probably do as he is our only builder at the moment, going around and uh, upping those skills because we we need to get the power in place, we need to get the payload opener in place, and then we need to come down and do this. The the, the orders are good. It just takes a while. I wish I knew how to replace this block with a tile without dropping our rover down there because that's that's exactly what's going to happen if I try and put anything there because we need to dig the tile out before we can build something else. I wish there was a way of just pushing him over. I'd really like to have him at the bottom of the ladder rather than right there. If anybody knows of a way, I, I'd really I'd really like to hear it. But whilst we watch Hubble and Spitzer go around and enjoy their evening, I would like to take this moment right here and thank the people that helped me enjoy my evening. That's right, my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. A list of names of the guys and girls that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a regular monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my channel can do such things as take three hours out of my life to make these little recordings here. So for that motivation and support from the very bottom of my heart, I thank you all so very, very much. Oh, we're missing a mess hall. That's kind of one of the more important aspects. It gives you a, a nice morale bonus. Maybe we need to figure out where that can go as well. Drop the water down and have the mess hall. And oh, we, we need to move this farm, don't we? We're going to end up putting the uh, the mess hall right here. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, I've just realized I don't have an output. I wonder where that's going to go. If I press F3, it's just kind of there. Is that something that duplicates can get or not? I I don't know. I don't know. No one can actually build. Uh, where, where are we? The shipping and a conveyor chute. Even if I put that right there and conveyor rail it across, no one can actually build that. So um, that's interesting. I wonder if... I wonder if, if we disable the building, disable building, uh, so, someone's going to have to long, come along and set that. But uh, is there an empty storage option? There is an empty storage option. Okay, C mm. can we do that here? Empty storage. Yeah, okay, that's better, I suppose. I wonder who's going to do that. If, if we put it up to a nine and have a look, Hubble, check. I mean, we don't we don't want to change the setting now that we've got something. Deliver. Mm, okay, no power. There, there are some problems here, but maybe these are problems that can get sorted. Okay, it's a weird way to empty the storage, but I'll take it for now. I'm not sure what the uh, 
what the price oh there, there is underneath there okay, can i suppress the current yeah we've got a little little bar underneath okay that that's fine taking a while to empty though i didn't realize it was gonna take quite as long as this but i suppose we will allow it for now uh, i've got an interesting situation here okay all right uh, this is the thing so i turned on the priorities turned on the uh, the the top priorities here, the alarms, because I didn't understand why people couldn't get through here. But I've got one person who can dig through granite and one person who can build tiles and they can't do the same job. So I'm going to have to get, uh, where's the dig order here? Let's turn that right up. I'm going to have to get Hubble to come along and dig the granite and then Spitzer to put the tile in place. Okay, where, where's, where's Hubble? I don't know. He's uh, trying to deliver payloads, but he, he can't hold his breath well enough. Okay, I mean, that that is true. I kind of wish you could just not do that, though, you know. Ah, uh, classic no one wanted to clean the toilet before they just whittled everywhere. All right, th this is the thing. Uh, I don't know how we're going to mop it all up, but uh, there we go. Pe people are working now. People are working, and hopefully some mopping can happen as well. Is Hubble just going straight back out there, despite the fact that I have the uh, the priority turned all the way down, and we've got a priority all the way up over here? Okay, why? I mean, he can travel there. Look, the red means that he can't travel there. He, he can definitely get down here. I wonder why the job isn't... Why is this? Because it's life support? Is it operational support? Ah, okay. So let's... He is an operator, of course. That is his main function. But let's, let's turn the digging up higher because digging's kind of... Not more important, but it's kind of more important. Oh, and our first millwood is going. Why? Why was that suddenly growth halted? I don't. I don't know because it needs some dirt. I don't know. I'm not sure. A little bit worrisome. Little bit worrisome. This was absolutely fine. Uh, I mean, it was an absolute fine. I know what I've done. I've come along and dug out some blocks underneath. Oh, man. This this, this is bad. This is bad. We're going to be losing all of our water down to the bottom here, it turns out. That's not quite what I wanted, especially as nighttime has been called. I wonder whether I could get these in place before. Probably not. I think I think we're about to set up a new water collection system. You know what? Well, let's, let's just take these out of here. Go B, pitcher pump. Hey, let's put that there. And then we can just go ahead and be nuts and, and replace those. We're going to end up with some flooding down below. I'm not overly impressed with that, but they're, they're too hot or too cold or whatever it is down at the bottom here at the moment, so that's fine. They're too hot because this needs doing, like, as soon as possible. Let's let, let's set that up. I I don't mind if they, uh, if, if they actually wet themselves down there because this needs doing. Oh, it's, it's happened. It's happened. The water just suddenly went fast. Yeah, there we go. It all kind of washed through. I guess we're just gonna mop these up at some point. It'd be really cool if someone, I don't know, harvested the millwood. And uh, let's, let's, let's come into the skill. Not the skills, sorry. The priorities. Let's have Spitzer. I oh, know he's digging. Uh, let, let's have Hubble farming and cooking more important than anything else and we'll just we'll just tell him that the digs are a top priority occasionally where are you going now no let's walk you back he keeps trying to go for these over here but he can't make it all the way over there there's there's not enough oxygen so what we're going to do is try and make our way across this way instead but that's for another day. We, we, we need Hubble to get down here and start doing some other things like harvesting the millwood and uh, maybe making some, some mill lice. So, uh, mill, some lice loaf, that's what it's called, sorry. So that we can actually have some, some tasty food. That would be nice. Okay, technically counts as a mess hall. This is good. Plus three morale just because you get to sit and eat with your friends. Okay, I like it. I like it a lot. This, not so great. Very moist. Hey, there we go. Mess all good. And hopefully this extra morale will push the strength from um, regular morale to high morale. So that should actually give us a strength, uh, a stress dropping now. Yeah, 35% per cycle. That's nice. Just got to avoid water. The, uh, the gods of Oni were with us when we passed through this side here. Thankfully, only a single blob of salt water and then carbon dioxide got themselves locked in this situation here. So we should be able to build this pump. Oh, I, I 
kind of push them a little bit too hard. I want to make sure this pump gets built before anything else, though. This doesn't actually need to be. I mean, I do I do want to put a layer of insulated tile across here, but that doesn't actually need to be as it was. Uh, and now I just want those two built, and everything should be good. I'm, I'm tempted to go through and start destroying some blocks, letting some air through, but I'm a little bit worried what's going to happen when I do that. Let's, uh, let's... That was too much. That was too much. Hubble, get out of there. And then we're going to P0 these. Ah, run away. I mean, that is what I wanted. A little bit. Uh, can we get Hubble out? Of yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, Spitzer, build, fill those in before we get absolutely flooded, please. But you know what? That's that's actually okay. That is actually... A where, where are you going? <laughs> it was okay right up until the point that happened. Uh, if, if we can actually get this sealed in now, we've got good flow for our liquid pump. We've got all the connections we need coming outside. Okay, this, this is good. This is good. Now we just need to deal with the fact that it's boiling hot. It'd be nice to run a cooling loop right through all of this water and cool that down over here. That, that would be almost ideal if we could. And I also think one of our major milestones has been met here. We are slowly but surely pushing our food value upwards. That That's really good, actually. Really, really good. Yep, Hubble's coming along to give us some food. That's great, but he's decided that actually nighttime's more important. All right, fine. But everybody's enjoying their food. Everybody is enjoying their food. The stress is still on its way down, just very slow. Oh, no, it's going back up now, but mostly the stress is on its way down. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's much better. So ideally, time-wise, I'd be finishing the video here. But you know what? We are not done. We need to get the water out of this little tank here. We need to get it up into the desalinator. And we need to then put that into some sort of, if I come to the oxygen, into an electrolyzer of some description. I don't think we need to deal with the gases that come out of there. But that is something that needs to happen. And there's also one other thing that needs to happen. Uh, I think this might be a bit of a crazy, crazy plan. But we've got a cool slush geyser hidden behind this block of obsidian here. And cool is the opposite of hot. This this salt water is coming out hot and I think, I think I would like to actually build a little bit of a water pipeline coming down this sort of direction from this uh, this cool slush geyser here. But there is a problem. If I go ahead and just go, hey, let's dig all of this all the way down here, we get these little warnings. Local uh, colony lacks super, hard, uh, super duper hard digging. Uh, so you know we've just made, <laughs> you know we've just made Hubble sort of somewhat cool with his surroundings. We've got like double the morale than what is needed because we managed to put down that um, that mess hall, which gives him wonderful morale boost. Yeah, I think we're gonna we're just gonna go ahead and and, and waste that. I mean, I, waste is a strong strong term, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, make use of that. Is this uh, igneous rock is what I would like here. I think we're gonna have to do something like this to make sure it actually gets dug all the way out. And I think I'm actually gonna deconstruct, cancel that, and dig my way through there. We need we need many ways through, and I'm, we've got to watch out for this poke shell. I think this poke shell might be sacrificing himself to the greater good at some point. I just feel like he's gonna be more trouble than it's worth. Yeah, yeah, he's already causing troubles. Um, I think we're just gonna not look at the next couple of minutes of gameplay. <laughs> oh look, there's a poke shell malt right here. I wonder where that came from. Whilst people were sleeping, I've just noticed we have a toilets warning on Pyaxlin. What, what is this about? This normally means, yeah, something's gone wrong here. Do not have sand. Why do we not have sand? Igneous rock to sand forever, please. Forever. That, 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 mm, that's a problem. That, that's a problem. Hopefully one that we can fix almost instantly. Everybody's going to be complaining about it. Um, I'm just going to hit, what has also happened to the chlorine? How's this spread so far? What? I mean, that's fun. Well, the chlorine can be sorted out another day. That's not a problem. The, uh, the, the sand, though, big problem. Okay, Ruben makes the delivery. Who's going to come along and do the actual errand? Franklin, great, great, great. Hopefully this will turn over for a little time here. Still got some extra copper here that we don't need to, to be sat there. Uh, I should imagine I can just put this on nine now and people will keep turning it over. More importantly, here gets a bit of sand made. Is anybody going to come and pick that up and make the delivery over here. Plank, wonderful. 
Okay, here he comes to make the delivery and the water starts getting processed again. It's going to take a while, but this should hopefully almost immediately make these toilets usable, the sinks usable. Why not the actual toilet? We've got the excess water being put in here. That's one of the problems. Okay, that's this toilet back up and running. That's good. That's good. That's also this toilet. Okay, I think I think small crisis averted. Come back over here. Hopefully, people are now digging out all this area. I've realised that we can't actually have uh, these blocks here because we need to dig it out like we did for the, these ones down here. Uh, Hubble needs to do the digging, and then Spitzer needs to do the building. So we're in a situation where we're just kind of surviving off the oxygen from this single oxy fern now. Uh, that's that's not ideal. And also, people keep getting pretty highly stressed over on pyaxlin from the uh, from, from the chlorine we have escaping here. I don't understand why people keep going in. Where are you going? What are you doing? There's there's no real need to do so. In fact, I've locked people out of here for the moment while the whole place is erupting so that all the chlorine can uh, collect down here, get picked up by this gas pump, which is still not actually picking up. It's only really grabbing the, uh, the, the carbon dioxide uh, and then pump it up all the way out here to space. So it is a problem that will fix itself, but we're going to get little alerts the whole way through. Spitzer, could you please just finish these two like it really would be very helpful if you could uh, no he, he needs to go breathe uh, we need to get the electrolyzer down ju just just so we can get some oxygen being produced uh, and then after that we'll, we'll think a bit a little bit more seriously about the oxygen First thing in the morning, Hubble has jumped straight on the power. This has started picking up some of the salt water over here. I'm hoping that Hubble will come along to do this one as well. Disinfect, disinfect. Where, where's the desalinate? Oh, it says piped blocks because we don't, we don't have this pipe network in place yet. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Okay, and there we've got some liquids being created. Well, we've got some salt water being picked up, pumped up to the desalinator. That's then making a bit of electrolyzer. What, what's going on? Uh, and with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time when we're going to improve the farm situation. Things are getting a little bit desperate here, and I particularly would like a bit more farmland just to be ready for us. In fact, look at this. So look, I could just fix that straight away. Uh, another thing we're going to be doing is finding out why everybody is dying over on Pi Axlin, but I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.